Well, I think that preparedness, natural disasters can happen to anyone, and preparedness, the role of the first interveners, you know, how do you deal with the public? What is the first information? I think this kind of uh, sharing from people who had a real experience, who also handled it pretty well, mm -hmm. I think, uh, is very helpful. Plus, we saw some technologies that can help improve both early warning and also the buildings. And it just reminds us that uh, disasters can happen uh, uh, all over the world. And then also through China, there is this major fault line that is uh, where over a dozen earthquakes in the last hundred years have happened up and down the fault line. And so it's particularly important for uh, cities and villages there to protect themselves. Yeah. So uh, we're investors, socially responsible investors. So we think about making money, but most importantly, how to make a society and how to invest in companies that have the social responsibility. So companies that care enough about the workers and the environment and the structure so their buildings are safe. We're also investors here in China in the China Environment Fund, which is a fund that invests in companies that help protect the environment or do things like organic farming and bring new ways of having more ecological, sustainable development. So we, we're investors in that respect based in Washington, D.C., the Calvert Funds. Mm -hmm. So how do you see in the future, in the Hanwang, if we have the foreign, along with the industry, park, uh, will that be a new new uh, way for people to know, oh, that's the things we can develop? Right, I think that uh, you can't do everything. So you need to have a couple focus that you can help teach and educate. For example, one area we're interested in is transportation. How do we do transportation systems that integrate a cell phone with uh, dynamically updated computer models to move buses and other public services around mm -hmm. so that we can reduce the cost on the environment of transportation, yeah. which is, uh, and also make it more convenient for citizens to uh, uh, not need to own cars and yet be able to uh, 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 get around, mm -hmm. which reduces, which makes more resources available to education and other issues in the family. So I think we need to, the forum needs to take some examples and drill down into how this can really affect and benefit people's lives mm -hmm. on a very specific examples. I think sometimes, you know, we have the big ideas and the big conversations and I think that like in agriculture, they have a perfect opportunity as well. Yes. So I'm looking forward to those developments. Mm -hmm. So, uh, from your personal, uh, I mean, feeling, how how do you feel about the Hanwang Forum in the future? They can do something for the world. Right. Well, I think that uh, of course there are many forums, I and mean, I think Hanwang has an opportunity to build a special kind of both European, some American, and Chinese kind of sharing of both mm -hmm. technologies. But it isn't just about technologies that are technical. It's also about social technology, social infrastructure. How do you create happy communities? Well, how, how can we make a, a, a life in, 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 uh, in towns uh, happier and yet less energy uh, yes. requirement? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a very important issue in China, I think, yeah, especially. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah.